just kind of what was the difference down the stretch that you guys weren't getting maybe the requisite stops to close this one out earlier? Um, you know, they, uh, the, the DeAndre Hunter, the ball was in his hands a lot tonight. Um, you know, he either made some, some shots and created things for himself. Gallinari got going. Um, they put more shooting out there. Um, you know, we just got to be better defensively, maybe keep the ball in front of us more, foul less. Uh, but, you know, Atlanta, they, they, uh, they executed. They made some tough shots. Um, you know, they hung. They, they keep playing. Uh, they're well coached, and they keep coming. Obviously, Bobby had 21 tonight off the bench. It feels like in wins, he really gets going, and then in some of the games that you guys have fallen short, he hasn't been able to get going. What do you kind of have to try to do to get it more consistent out of Bobby on a, on a night in, night out basis? Uh, you know, I mean, I think Bobby is, is taking everything he can get. You know, it's just the flow of the game sometimes. Um, you know, he gets a lot of baskets without us just really playing through them. And so maybe we play through them a little bit more. But, um, you know, there's, there's just a lot of guys on our team. And um, I love the way he plays just kind of in the flow. And um, some nights some nights it gets to him, some nights it doesn't. I don't know that we want to overwork um, to make sure he's he's getting it, but there is certainly a point where you know he he can can score and and get the ball, um, and you know we need to just keep looking for that and maybe integrating it. You know, same with Brooke. Jim Ozarski. Mike uh, mentioned a, a little bit earlier with with you know having the ball in Hunter's hands. Obviously, they're second and third leading scores. Not like you didn't know who they were, but did it change anything with kind of the late? I don't want, I guess, scratches for, for those guys. I mean, Lloyd, you know, pregame was saying, well, I don't know yet. So did that maybe throw a wrench in, in some things early? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, certainly we spent a lot of time. We actually kind of when I did our, our walk through our practice uh, or our prep for Atlanta yesterday. So we, we spent a lot of time on Trey Young and, you know, he's one of the elite young players in our league. Um, but, you know, you have to, you have to be prepared and adjust and, um, you know, Hunter did a nice job. Um, you know, he's a good young player, and uh, we got to be a little bit better, a little bit tougher on him. Is um, I, I guess as teams go on runs, you know that that's not new, but th they didn't have you know a, a fourteen four spurt or anything like that. It was just kind of basket for basket. Is, is that more frustrating, I guess, for you guys when there just isn't consecutive stops on your end, and it's just basket after basket and, and kind of trading off to a degree. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I think in the opening question, you know, three quarters with 30 plus points, that's just 115 total. Um, you know, we need to be a lot better defensively. Zora Stevenson. Coach, expanding not just with Bobby, but the entire bench they had 47 collectively. How does it change the game when they're contributing offensively? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a big boost. I thought that was a big part of us, you know, getting a, a big early lead, um, you know, and kind of, you know, early through the second quarter too. So, um, you know, those guys played well. Obviously, we talked a lot about Bobby, but I thought Pat Connington did a lot of things well. DJ Augustine, Brand, Corey got to play tonight. Um, you know, so that, that, that group was good. Quick follow-up just about Tory. What did you see from him tonight? Yeah, it was just good for him to get, you know, some minutes and, um, you know, play early in a game and, and you know, just start to kind of, you know, find his way in, in a game setting and, and with the better, you know, maybe playing with Brooke and Chris and Drew or, you know, a little bit with Giannis. And, um, you know, certainly he's somebody that we really value and uh, it's just good to, have, to get him out on the court tonight. One more to Kane Pittman. Hey, bud, uh, I know you spoke about the defense a little bit there, but one number that you'd probably be happy with is only 30 points in the paint for a Atlanta. It's been a little bit up and down this season as you've been trying some different things. I was just wondering what you've seen from Brook Lopez tonight uh, in the paint there, and, and I guess so far this season as well from a broader perspective. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think Brook maybe early was, you know, still I think without the training camp or without the, the ramp up was – maybe not his normal self, but tonight felt like, you know, he had a lot of possessions where he made it really hard in the paint. And, um, you know, that's where, you know, they, they hit, you know, I, I do feel like they hit a lot of tough shots. Um, and, you know, some guys, I, I don't know how many threes John Collins had, but, you know, he, he made a couple, um, you know, I know Solomon Hill made at least one early. So, 
Um, but I, I thought the paint, you know, protecting the paint, playing there, um, you know, Brooke, I thought Giannis had a big block in the first half that set the tone a little bit. Um, so we just need to keep working on, on that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.